Public Health Foundation is closely tied to clean water, as access to safe and clean drinking water is essential for preventing waterborne diseases and promoting overall health. By ensuring that water sources are protected and treated, public health is safeguarded, reducing the burden on healthcare systems and improving the quality of life for populations around the world. Sustainable development relies heavily on the availability of clean water, as it is a vital resource for agriculture, industry, and daily living. Water scarcity and contamination can hinder economic growth, food security, and access to essential services. Clean water is also crucial for achieving several of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals SDGs, including those related to health, sanitation, and economic development. Waterborne diseases pose a significant threat to public health, particularly in areas with inadequate sanitation and contaminated water sources. These diseases are caused by pathogens such as bacteria, viruses, and parasites that are transmitted through contaminated drinking water, food, or recreational water. Lack of access to clean water and poor hygiene practices contribute to the spread of these diseases, which can result in widespread outbreaks, particularly in densely populated or underserved communities. Cholera is an acute diarrheal disease caused by the bacterium Vibrio cholerae, typically contracted through consumption of contaminated water or food, which can be fatal if not treated promptly. Cholera outbreaks are often associated with poor sanitation and a lack of access to clean water, making it a significant public health issue in developing regions. Typhoid is another waterborne disease caused by the bacterium Salmonella and Rica serotype typhi, which spreads through the consumption of contaminated food or water. Symptoms of typhoid include prolonged fever, abdominal pain, and weakness, and if left untreated, it can lead to serious complications or even death. Dysentery refers to a group of gastrointestinal diseases characterized by diarrhea with blood or mucus, typically caused by bacteria like Shigella or Amoebus. Dysentery is spread through contaminated water or food and is often exacerbated by poor sanitation and hygiene. It can cause dehydration and malnutrition, particularly in vulnerable populations like children. Chlorination is a widely used water treatment method that involves adding chlorine or chlorine compounds to water to disinfect and kill harmful pathogens, such as bacteria, viruses, and parasites. Chlorine is effective in killing most waterborne microorganisms and provides residual protection, ensuring that water remains safe for consumption over time. Proper dosage and monitoring are essential for ensuring the safety and effectiveness of chlorination in water purification. Boiling is one of the simplest and most effective methods for purifying water, especially in emergency situations. By heating water to a rolling boil for at least one minute, the heat kills most types of harmful microorganisms, including bacteria, viruses, and protozoa. Additionally, Boiling does not remove chemical contaminants or impurities, so it is best used in conjunction with other methods when necessary. Filtration involves passing water through physical barriers, such as sand, activated carbon, or ceramic filters, to remove suspended particles, impurities, and pathogens. Filtration is effective in removing particulate matter, chlorine taste, and some microorganisms, depending on the filter type. Advanced filtration systems, such as reverse osmosis, can remove a wider range of contaminants, including heavy metals and salts. Safe toilets are essential for preventing the spread of waterborne diseases and promoting good sanitation practices. By separating waste from human contact and preventing contamination of water sources, safe toilets reduce the risk of infections like cholera, dysentery, and typhoid. Waste disposal is a critical aspect of sanitation that involves the proper collection, treatment, and disposal of solid and liquid waste. Effective waste disposal systems, 
such as landfill sites, incineration, and wastewater treatment plants, help manage the waste generated by households, industries, and agriculture. Hand washing is a simple yet powerful hygiene practice that plays a vital role in preventing the transmission of diseases, particularly those spread through contaminated water and surfaces particularly in areas with limited access to healthcare and sanitation services. Groundwater contamination, a silent threat refers to the gradual pollution of underground water sources, which can occur through the infiltration of harmful chemicals, pathogens, and waste materials into the soil and aquifers. Common causes of groundwater contamination include agricultural runoff containing pesticides and fertilizers, improper waste disposal, leaching from landfills, and industrial activities that release hazardous chemicals. Expanding access to safe water is a critical global challenge that directly impacts public health, economic development, and social well-being. Ensuring that communities, particularly in developing regions, have access to clean and safe drinking water is essential for preventing waterborne diseases and improving quality of life. Access to safe water involves not only providing clean water sources but also ensuring that water is consistently available, affordable, and free from harmful contaminants. This requires the development of infrastructure such as wells, piped water systems, and water purification technologies. Boiling is one of the simplest and most effective methods of household water treatment particularly in emergencies or areas without access to advanced water purification systems. Filtration can effectively remove suspended particles, chlorine, and some microorganisms, improving the taste and safety of water. While it can be highly effective for removing certain pollutants, the effectiveness of filtration varies depending on the type of filter used and the contaminants present in the water. Regular maintenance and replacement of filter components are essential to ensure continued performance. Safe storage of treated water is critical to maintaining its quality and ensuring it remains free from contamination. After water has been treated by boiling or filtration, it should be stored in clean, covered containers to prevent recontamination from dust, insects, or unclean surfaces. Regular testing is essential for monitoring water quality and ensuring that it meets health and safety standards. By conducting routine tests for a range of contaminants, including bacteria, heavy metals, chemicals, and pH levels, authorities can detect potential issues early and take corrective actions. Analysis and reporting play a vital role in interpreting the results from water quality testing. Once water samples are tested, the results need to be thoroughly analyzed to identify any trends or concerns regarding contamination. Data-driven decisions are a key aspect of effective water quality management. By using data collected from regular and analysis, decision makers can implement evidence-based strategies to protect water resources and public health. This data helps prioritize actions based on the severity of contamination, track the effectiveness of water treatment programs, and allocate resources more efficiently. Policies and regulations for water safety are essential for ensuring the protection of water resources and safeguarding public health. These guidelines establish the legal framework for water management, treatment, and distribution, setting standards for water quality, access, and safety. In addition to water quality standards, policies, and regulations often include provisions for monitoring and enforcing compliance, as well as penalties for violations.